All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network and this is a quick little product feature on the brand new Savox 1 tenth size 540 censored brushless surface motor. That's a lot to say in one little sentence there. Now, Savox is definitely known for their great servos, but they've kind of been dabbling in some of the brushless motor market, uh, having debuting their their air motors uh, just a while back, a few months ago. Great success, and I've been kind of keeping track of not only the Savox USA page, but also their Facebook page to keep track of not only how well these motors have been doing in Europe, but also when they would be hitting here in the United States. So they've released them now. Ordered this up about a week ago, hit my doorstep today, and I can't wait to show you guys what is included in that clear package there. Now, just some other specs on this motor. Once again, 540 size. It's a 1 tenth version. So I do plan to run this in my B44.2. Um, it does have adjustable external timing on it. I'll show you that here in a few minutes. And it is a three-pole motor. So we're kind of used, used to uh, two-pole and four-pole here. Um, and at least in the 540 size motors, and this is a three pole. So um, it is optimized for either one or two cell lipos, and it is definitely cool. Has some cooling vents also cut into it, um, and we'll kind of go over that once we open this thing up. So um, I've already taken all the staples out of it, so it'd be easy for us to open this thing up. But all in all, pretty cool design inside there. Um, on the flip side here, it does give you all of the specs as far as other turned motors that they offer. Now they all offer a full line of not only modified motors but also stock motors. So and you can see there the different turns. 3.5 to 9.5 for modified and 10.5 up to 23.5 for the stocks. So all in all a pretty cool little design here. Um, although it comes in this plastic package uh, this is definitely not a cheap motor. Uh, Inside here, let's see, before I drop the motor, you do get a four inch in length sensor wire that can be plugged up to the back of this motor and on up to your ESC that is also a censored ESC. Let me get my little battery case there for my SCX-10 out of the way. So here it is. Definitely has lots of CNC aluminum all throughout here. The end bell on it is plastic, and you can kind of see the sensor plug right there. You can also see the end timing. If I can focus on, there it is. And this whole centerpiece kind of swivels, so that's pretty cool there. You can see the arrows kind of pointing to the degree of timing, 12 degree, and also 12 degree minus. So pretty cool. has these gold-plated... Um, soldering points right there for your A, B, and C, which is marked on the back. All in all, this is the 6.5 turn version, modified. Has the uh, Savox Lion logo right there with the SX.1. Front side here, lots of machined aluminum, really cool. Has the cutted, cut vents right there to cool the motor, not only on the front side, but also on the back side right there, you'll see it all around. Very, very nice motor. Weight of this, this is super lightweight for a 540 sized. Very nice. So anyways, I'm going to be running a couple of other motors in my B44.2 and definitely going to be dropping this thing in for a little bit quicker speeds on the straightaway. So I can't wait to get this thing mounted up here in a couple of weeks and I will definitely do a little motor shootout um, of all the different 540 sized motors that I've been gathering up here. So I definitely have the Savox right here, have an Orion, and also that Gen 2 from Tekken, the red line. So all in all, very happy with this, and I will update you guys very soon. If you have any questions about this motor or the RC Network, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.